who was the first astronomer royal. The first astronomer royal was John Flamsteed, 1646 to 1719. He was appointed astronomer royal in 1675 when the Royal Greenwich Observatory was founded. Until 1972, the astronomer royal also served as the director of the Royal Greenwich Observatory. How serious is osteoporosis? Osteoporosis, from the Greek osteo, meaning bone, por, meaning passageway. And osis, meaning condition, is a condition that reduces bone mass because the rate of bone reabsorption is quicker than the rate of bone deposition. The bones become very thin and porous and are easily broken. Osteoporosis is most common in the elderly, who may experience a greater number of broken bones. As a result of the mechanical stresses of daily living and not from accidents or other trauma. Generally, Osteoporosis is more severe in women. Since their bones are thinner and less massive than men's bones. In addition, estrogen helps to maintain bone mass. So the loss of estrogen in women after menopause contributes to more severe osteoporosis. What is polymerase chain reaction? Polymerase chain reaction, or PCR, is a laboratory technique that amplifies or copies any piece of DNA very quickly without using cells. The DNA is incubated in a test tube with a special kind of DNA polymerase, a supply of nucleotides. And short pieces of synthetic single-strand DNA that serve a primers for DNA synthesis. With automation, PCR can make billions of copies of a particular segment of DNA in a few hours. Each cycle of the PCR procedure takes only about 5 minutes. At the end of the cycle, the DNA segment even one with hundreds of base pairs has been doubled. A PCR machine repeats the cycle over and over. PCR is much faster than the days it takes to clone a piece of DNA by making a recombinant plasmid and letting it replicate within bacteria. PCR was developed by the biochemist Carrie Mullis, 1944. In 1983 while working for Cetus Corporation, a California biotechnology firm. In 1993, Mullis won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for developing PCR. What is the Richter scale? On a machine called a seismograph, the Richter scale measures the magnitude of an earthquake. I.e., the size of the ground waves generated at the earthquake's source. The scale was devised by American geologist Charles W. Richter, 1900-1985, in 1935. Every increase of one number means a tenfold increase in magnitude.
What are some beneficial insects? Beneficial insects include bees, wasps, flies, butterflies, moths, and others that pollinate plants. Many fruits and vegetables depend on insect pollinators for the production of seeds. Insects are an important source of food for birds, fish, and many animals. In some countries such insects as termites, caterpillars, ants, and bees are eaten as food by people. Products derived from insects include honey and beeswax, shellac, and silk. Some predators such as mantises, ladybugs, or lady beetles, and lacewings feed on other harmful insects. Other helpful insects are parasites that live on or in the body of harmful insects. For example, some wasps lay their eggs in caterpillars that damage tomato plants. What is the original breed of domestic cat in the United States? The American short hair is believed by some naturalists to be the original domestic cat in America. It is descended from cats brought to the New World from Europe by the early settlers. The cats readily adapted to their new environment. Selective breeding to enhance the best traits began early in the 20th century. The American short hare is a very athletic cat with a lithe, powerful body, excellent for stalking and killing prey. Its legs are long, heavy, and muscular, ideal for leaping and for coping with all kinds of terrain. The fur, in a wide variety of color and coat patterns is thick enough to protect the animal from moisture and cold, but short enough to resist matting and snagging. Although this cat makes an excellent house pet and companion, it remains very self-sufficient. Its hunting instinct is so strong that it exercises the skill even when well provided with food. The American short hair is the only true working cat in the United States. What does it mean when a lake is brown or blue? When a lake is brown, it usually indicates that eutrophication is occurring. This process refers to the premature aging of a lake, when nutrients are added to the water. Usually due to runoff, which may be either agricultural or industrial in origin. Due to this rich supply of nutrients, blue-green algae begin to take over the green algae in the lake. And food webs within the lake are disturbed, leading to an eventual loss of fish. When a lake is blue, this usually means that the lake has been damaged by acid precipitation. The gradual drop in pH caused by exposure to acid rain causes disruption of the food webs, eventually killing most organisms. The end result is clear water, which reflects the low productivity of the lake. How is nuclear waste stored? Nuclear wastes consist either of fission products formed from the splitting of uranium, cesium, 
strontium, or krypton, or from transuranic elements formed when uranium atoms absorb free neutrons. Wastes from transuranic elements are less radioactive than fission products. However, these elements remain radioactive far longer hundreds of thousands of years. The types of waste are irradiated fuel, spent fuel, in the form of 12-foot, 4-meter, long rods. High-level radioactive waste in the form of liquid or sludge, and low-level waste. Non-transuranic or legally high-level, in the form of reactor hardware, piping, toxic resins. Water from fuel pool, and other items that have become contaminated with radioactivity. Currently, most spent nuclear fuel in the United States is safely stored. In specially designed pools at individual reactor sites around the country. If pool capacity is reached, licensees may move toward use of above-ground dry storage casks. The three low-level radioactive waste disposal sites are Barnwell located in South Carolina. Hanford located in Washington, and EnviroCare located in Utah. Each site accepts low-level radioactive waste from specific regions of the country. Most high-level nuclear waste has been stored in double-walled. Stainless steel tanks surrounded by 3 feet, 1 meter, of concrete. The current best storage method, developed by the French in 1978, is to incorporate the waste into a special molten glass mixture. Then enclose it in a steel container and bury it in a special pit. The Nuclear Waste Policy Act of 1982 specified that high-level radioactive waste would be disposed of underground in a deep geologic repository. Yucca Mountain, Nevada was chosen as the single site to be developed for disposal of high-level radioactive waste. However, the Yucca Mountain site continues to be controversial due to dormant volcanoes in the vicinity and known earthquake fault lines. As of 2010, the Energy Department withdrew its application for a nuclear waste repository at Yucca Mountain. Which lake is no longer one of the five largest lakes in the world? The Aral Sea, located in Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan, was previously the fourth largest lake in the world with 26,000 square miles. 67,340 square kilometers, but is now the sixth largest lake in the world. It is now divided into two distinct lakes with a total area of only 13,000 square miles. 33,670 square kilometers, although the size varies with the seasons. One of the major reasons the lake has shrunk is the diversion of water for irrigation purposes. Lake Superior is the largest of the Great Lakes. The North American Great Lakes form a single watershed with one common outlet to the See the St. Lawrence Seaway. The total volume of all five basins is 6,000 trillion gallons. 22.7 trillion liters, equivalent to about 20% of the world's fresh water. Only Lake Michigan lies wholly within U.S. borders, the others share their boundaries with Canada. 
Some believe that Lake Huron and Lake Michigan are two lobes of one lake. Since they are the same elevation and are connected by the 120 foot, 36.5 meter. Deep Strait of Mackinac, which is 3.6 to 5 miles, 6 to 8 kilometers, wide. Gauge records indicate that they both have similar water level regimes and mean long-term behavior. So that hydrologically they act as one lake. Historically they were considered two by the explorers who named them. But this is considered a misnomer by some. Are men or women more accident prone? Women drive and even cross the street more safely than men. Since 1980, men have accounted for 70% of pedestrian fatalities. Between the ages of 18 and 45, males outnumber females as fatal crash victims by almost 3 to 1. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, accidental deaths of all types from falls, firearms, drownings, fires. Even food and other poisonings also are more common among men than women. What was the Human Genome Project, HGP, and what were its goals? The HGP was begun in 1990 as a 13-year effort and completed in 2003. According to the official HGP website, http colon slash slash www. Doganomes When was metal recycling started? The first metal recycling in the United States occurred in 1776 when Patriots in New York City toppled a statue of King George III, 1738-1820, which was melted down and made into 42,088 bullets. What are the tasks of an operating system? An operating system is found in all computers and more. Recently in other electronic devices, such as cell phones. The operating system manages all the hardware and software resources of the computer. Operating systems manage data and devices, such as printers, in the computer. Operating systems today have the ability to multitask allowing the user to keep several different applications open at the same time. Popular operating systems for computers are Windows, Microsoft, OS X, Macintosh, and Linux. Why are coal, oil, and natural gas called fossil fuels? Coal, oil, and natural gas are composed of the remains 
of organisms that lived as long ago as 500 million years. These microscopic organisms, such as phytoplankton, became incorporated into the bottom sediments and then were converted, with time, to oil and gas. Coal is the remains of plants and trees, changing into peat and then lignite. That were buried and subjected to pressure, temperature, and chemical processes for millions of years. Fossil fuels are non-renewable sources of energy. There is a finite supply of the resources for fossil fuels. Eventually these resources will diminish to the point of being too expensive or too environmentally damaging to retrieve. Fossil fuels provide more than 85% of all the energy consumed in the United States. Including two-thirds of the electricity and nearly all of the transportation fuels. Which protist is an indicator of polluted water? Euglenoids are unicellular flagellates, many euglenoids are capable of photosynthesis and are autotrophic. They are commonly found in freshwater ponds and puddles. Others do not carry on photosynthesis and are heterotrophic. Often found in water with large amounts of organic material. Euglenoids frequently serve as bioindicators and are found in large numbers in polluted waters. What is barometric pressure and what does it mean? Barometric, or atmospheric, pressure is the force exerted on a surface by the weight of the air above that surface. As measured by an instrument called a barometer. Pressure is greater at lower levels because the air's molecules are squeezed under the weight of the air above. So while the average air pressure at sea level is 14.7 pounds per square inch, 1013.53 hectopascals, at 1000 feet, 304 meters, above sea level. The pressure drops to 14.1 pounds per square inch, 972.1 hectopascals, and at 18,000 feet, 5,486 meters. The pressure is 7.3 pounds, 503.32 hectopascals, about half of the figure at sea level. Changes in air pressure bring weather changes. High pressure areas bring clear skies and fair weather, low pressure areas bring wet or stormy weather. Areas of very low pressure have serious storms, such as hurricanes. What was the first mathematical society organized in the United States? The first mathematical society in the United States was the American Mathematical Society founded in 1888 to further the interests of mathematics research and scholarship. The first president was John Howard Van Amringe, 1835-1915. What is a meltdown, 
and what does it have to do with the China syndrome? A meltdown is a type of accident in a nuclear reactor in which the fuel core melts, resulting in the release of dangerous amounts of radiation. In most cases the large containment structure that houses a reactor would prevent the radioactivity from escaping. However, there is a small possibility that the molten core could become hot enough to burn through the floor of the containment structure and go deep into the earth. Nuclear engineers call this type of situation the China Syndrome. The phrase derives from a discussion on the theoretical problems that could result from a meltdown. When a scientist commented that the molten core could bore a hole through the earth. Coming out if one happened to be standing in North America in China. Although the scientist was grossly exaggerating, some took him seriously. In fact, the core would only bore a hole about 30 feet, 10 meters, into the earth, but even this distance would have grave repercussions. All reactors are equipped with emergency systems to prevent such an accident from occurring. What is superconductivity? Superconductivity is a condition in which many metals, alloys, organic compounds and ceramics conduct electricity without resistance, usually at low temperatures. Heike Kammerling Onus 1853 to 1926, a Dutch physicist, discovered superconductivity in 1911. He was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1913 for his low temperature studies. The modern theory regarding the phenomenon was developed by three American physicists John Bardeen, 1908 to 1991, Leon N. Cooper, 1930, and John Robert Schrieffer, 1931. Known as the BCS theory after the three scientists, it postulates that superconductivity occurs in certain materials because the electrons in them, rather than remaining free to collide with imperfections and scatter, form pairs that can flow easily around imperfections and do not lose their energy. Bardeen, Cooper and Schrieffer received the Nobel Prize in Physics for their work in 1972. A further breakthrough in superconductivity was made in 1986 by J. George Bednors, 1950, and K. Alex Muller. 1927. Bednors and Muller discovered a ceramic material consisting of lanthanum, barium, copper, and oxygen, which became superconductive at 35 degrees Kelvin, minus 238 degrees Celsius, much higher than any other material. Bednors and Muller won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1987. This was a significant accomplishment since. In most situations the Nobel Prize is awarded for discoveries made as many as 20 to 40 years earlier. Who invented dynamite?
Dynamite was not an accidental discovery but the result of a methodical search by the Swedish technologist Alfred Nobel, 1833-1896. Nitroglycerin had been discovered in 1849 by the Italian organic chemist Ascanio Sabriero. 1812-1888, but it was so sensitive and difficult to control that it was useless. Nobel sought to turn nitroglycerin into a manageable solid by absorbing it into a porous substance. From 1866 to 1867 he tried an unusual mineral, Kieselgur. And created a dough-like explosive that was controllable. He also invented a detonating cap incorporating mercury. Fulminate with which nitroglycerin could be detonated at will. Have wind speeds during tornadoes been accurately measured? No, tornado wind speeds have been scientifically estimated using Doppler radar and video observations. But there have been no successful attempts to physically measure wind speeds using an anemometer. Many severe tornadoes will destroy an anemometer before it records the wind speed during a tornado. Furthermore, they may occur in many random locations without equipment in place to measure wind speed. Why do tree leaves change color in the fall? The carotenoids pigments in the photosynthesizing cells, which are responsible for the fall colors, are present in the leaves during the growing season. However, the colors are eclipsed by the green chlorophyll. Toward the end of summer, when the chlorophyll production ceases due to declining daylight and a decrease in temperature, the other colors of the carotenoids, such as yellow, orange, red, or purple, become visible. Listed below are the autumn leaf colors of some common trees. What are the two subsystems of the nervous system? The nervous system is divided into the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system consists of the brain and spinal cord. While the peripheral nervous system consists of all the nerve tissue in the body, excluding the brain and spinal cord. Communication Between the central nervous system and the rest of the body is via the peripheral nervous system. Specialized cells of the peripheral nervous system allow communication between the two systems. How much electricity does an electric eel generate? An electric eel Electrophorus electricus, has current producing organs made up of electric plates on both sides of its vertebral column running almost its entire body length. The charge on the average of 350 volts. But as great as 550 volts is released by the central nervous system. The shock consists of four to eight separate charges. 
which last only two to three thousandths of a second each. These shocks, used as a defense mechanism, can be repeated up to 150 times per hour without any visible fatigue to the eel. The most powerful electric eel, found in the rivers of Brazil, Colombia, Venezuela, and Peru, produces a shock of 400 to 650 volts. What are the male reproductive organs and structures? The male reproductive organs and structures are the testes, a duct system that includes the epididymis and the vas deferens. The accessory glands, including the seminal vesicles and prostate gland, and the penis. The testes are the male gonads. They produce the male reproductive cells called sperm. What is a yazoo? A yazoo is a tributary of a river that runs parallel to the river. Being prevented from joining the river because the river has built up high banks. The name is derived from the Yazoo River. A tributary of the Mississippi River, which demonstrates this effect. How many kinds of volcanoes are there? Volcanoes are usually cone-shaped hills or mountains built around a vent. Connecting to reservoirs of molten rock, or magma, below Earth's surface. What is a double-blind study? In a double-blind study, neither the subjects of the experiment nor the persons administering the experiment know the critical aspects of the experiment. This method is used to guard against both experimenter bias and placebo effects. How many species of insects are there? Estimates of the number of recognized insect species range from about 750 000 to upward of 1 million but some experts think that this represents less than half of the number that exists in the world. About 7,000 new insect species are described each year. But unknown numbers are lost annually from the destruction of their habitats, mainly tropical forests. What are the components of smog? Smog, the most widespread pollutant in the United States, is a photochemical reaction resulting in ground level ozone. Ozone, an odorless, tasteless gas in the presence of light, can initiate a chain of chemical reactions. Ozone is a desirable gas in the stratospheric layer of the atmosphere. 
but it can be hazardous to health when found near Earth's surface in the troposphere. The hydrocarbons, hydrocarbon derivations and nitric oxides emitted from such sources as automobiles are the raw materials for photochemical reactions. In the presence of oxygen and sunlight, the nitric oxides combine with organic compounds, such as the hydrocarbons from unburned gasoline, to produce a whitish haze, sometimes tinged with a yellow-brown color. In this process, a large number of new hydrocarbons and oxyhydrocarbons are produced. These secondary hydrocarbon products may comprise as much as 95% of the total organics in a severe smog episode. What is wormwood? Artemisia absinthium known as wormwood, is a hardy fragrant perennial that grows to heights of 2 to 4 feet, 0.6 to 1.2 meters. Wormwood is native to Europe but has been widely naturalized in North America. Absinthe, a liquor, is distilled and flavored using this plant. Absinthe was banned in the United States in the early 1900s because it was considered habit-forming and hazardous to one's health. A revival of absinthe began in the 1990s when countries in the European Union began to reauthorize its manufacture and sale. It was approved for sale in the United States in 2007, but only if classified as thujone free. Thujone is a chemical found in wormwood that was reputed to cause hallucinations. What are the uses of discarded tires? During 2007, 4,500 and 96,000 tons of tires were scrapped in the United States. Nearly 90%, or 4,106,000 tons, of tires were sent to one of the three major markets for scrap tires tire derived fuel, ground rubber applications, and civil engineering. Tire-derived fuel, TDF, accounted for 54% or 2,484,000 tons of the scrap tires generated. TDF is used in a variety of combustion technologies, including cement kills. Pulp and paper mill boilers, utility, and industrial boilers. The TDF market is expected to continue to grow. Ground rubber applications, including new rubber products, playground, and other sports surfacing. And rubber modified asphalt, consumed 789,000 tons, 17% of the total, of scrap tires. Another 562 tons, 12% of the total, of tires were used in civil engineering applications. These include tire shreds used in road and landfill construction. Septic tank leach fields, and other construction projects. An additional 594,000 tons of tires were sent to landfills in 2007. Tires may be disposed in either a landfill or a monofill, a separate landfill only for tires. In certain areas of the country, 
especially in the western states. Landfills are a more efficient option than other scrap tire markets. Landfills are also the only option for tires that are in such poor condition they are not candidates for the scrap tire market. Furthermore, landfills are an important disposal option for the residue and byproducts from tire shredders. How many genes are in a typical bacterial cell? The bacterium Escherichia coli has about 5,000 genes. Where were the first successful ironworks in America? Although iron ore in this country was first discovered in North Carolina in 1585, and the manufacture of iron was first undertaken, but never accomplished, in Virginia in 1619, the first successful iron works in America was established by Thomas Dexter and Robert Bridges near the Saugus River in Lynn, Massachusetts. As the original promoters of the enterprise, they hired John Winthrop Jr. from England to begin. Production By 1645, a blast furnace had begun operations, and by 1648 a forge was working there. What is the largest group of vertebrates? The largest group of vertebrates is fishes. They are a diverse group and include almost 25. 000 species almost as many as all the other groups of vertebrates combined. Most members of this group are ostychethes, or bony fishes, which include bases, trout, and salmon. Who were the first married couple to go into space together? Astronauts Jan Davis and Mark Lee were the first married couple in space. They flew aboard the Space Shuttle Endeavour on an eight-day mission that began on September 12, 1992. Ordinarily. NASA bars married couples from flying together. An exception was made for Davis and Lee because they had no children and had begun training for the mission long before they got married. How many types of RNA are found in eukaryotic cells? There are five major types of RNA found in eukaryotic cells, 1. Heterogeneous nuclear RNA, HNRNA. 2. Messenger RNA, mRNA. 3. Transfer RNA, tRNA. 4. Ribosomal RNA, rRNA. And 5. Small nuclear RNA. The primary types of RNA are mRNA, tRNA, and rRNA. Messenger RNA, a single strand copied from a DNA strand, carries the genetic code from the DNA to the site of protein synthesis on the ribosomes. 
the most abundant type of RNA, rRNA, participates in protein synthesis in the ribosomes. Transfer, tRNA, is the translation molecule. Each tRNA molecule carries a specific anticodon, picks up a specific amino acid, and conveys the amino acid to the appropriate codon on mRNA. How many groups are identified in the domain bacteria? Biologists recognize at least a dozen different groups of bacteria. What is the cleanest fossil fuel? Natural gas, composed primarily of methane, is the cleanest of all fossil fuels. Producing only carbon dioxide and water vapor when it is burned. Coal and oil produce higher levels of harmful emissions. Including nitrogen oxides and sulfur dioxide when burned. Coal creates the most carbon dioxide when it is burned. Natural gas emits 25 to 50 percent less carbon dioxide than either oil or coal for each unit of energy produced. What is Mercator's projection for maps? The Mercator projection is a modification of a standard cylindrical projection. A technique used by cartographers to transfer the spherical proportions of the Earth to the flat surface of a map. For correct proportions, the parallels, or lines of latitude, are spaced at increasing distances toward the poles, resulting in severe exaggeration of size in the polar regions. Greenland, for example, appears five times larger than it actually is. Created by Flemish cartographer Gerardus Mercator, 1512-1594, in 1569, this projection is useful. Primarily because compass directions appear as straight lines, making it ideal for navigation. Who invented the fuel cell? The earliest fuel cell, known as a gas battery, was invented by Sir William Grove. 1811 to 1896, in 1839. Grove's fuel cell incorporated separate test tubes of hydrogen and oxygen, which he placed over strips of platinum. It was later modified by Francis Thomas Bacon, 1904 to 1992, with nickel replacing the platinum. A fuel cell is equivalent to a generator it converts a fuel's chemical energy directly into electricity. What is the law of very large numbers? Formulated by Percy Diaconis, 1945, and Frederick Mosteller, 1916-2006, of Harvard University. 
This long understood law of statistics states that with a large enough sample, any outrageous thing is apt to happen. Therefore, seemingly amazing coincidences can actually be expected. If given sufficient time or a large enough pool of subjects. For example, when a New Jersey woman won the lottery twice in four months. The media publicized it as an incredible long shot of 1 in 17 trillion. However, when statisticians looked beyond this individual's chances and asked what were the odds of the same happening to any person buying a lottery ticket in the United States over a six-month period, the number dropped dramatically to 1 in 30, according to researchers. Coincidences arise often in statistical work, but some have hidden causes and therefore are not coincidences at all. Many are simply chance events reflecting the luck of the draw. Is lodestone a magnet? Lodestone is a naturally occurring variety of magnetic iron oxide or magnetite. Lodestone is frequently called a natural magnet because it attracts iron objects and possesses polarity. It was used by early mariners to find magnetic north. Other names for lodestone are lodestone, leading stone, and Hercules stone. What is STP? The abbreviation STP is often used for standard temperature and pressure. As a matter of convenience, scientists have chosen a specific temperature and pressure as standards for comparing gas volumes. The standard temperature is 0 degrees Celsius 273 degrees Kelvin and the standard pressure is 760 torr, 1 atmosphere. When was the first U.S. satellite launched? Explorer 1, launched January 31, 1958, by the U.S. Army, was the first United States satellite launched into orbit. This 31-pound, 14.06-kilogram, satellite carried instrumentation that led to the discovery of Earth's radiation belts, which would be named after University of Iowa scientist James A. Van Allen. It followed. Four months after the launching of the world's first satellite, the Soviet Union's Sputnik 1. On October. 3, 1957, the Soviet Union placed the large 184-pound, 83.5-kilogram, satellite into low Earth orbit. It carried instrumentation to study the density and temperature of the upper atmosphere. And its launch was the event that opened the space age. How is parchment paper made? Most parchment paper is now vegetable parchment. 
it is made from a base paper of cotton rags or alpha cellulose. Known as water leaf, which contains no sizing or filling materials. The water leaf is treated with sulfuric acid. Converting a part of the cellulose into a gelatin-like amyloid. When the sulfuric acid is washed off, the amyloid film hardens on the paper. The strength of the paper is increased and will not disintegrate even when fully wet. Parchment paper can withstand heat and items will not stick to it. Who was the first woman to receive the Nobel Prize? Marie Curie was the first woman to receive the Nobel Prize. She received the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1903 for her work on radioactivity in collaboration with her husband. Pierre Curie 1859-1906, and A. H. Becquerel. 1852-1908, the 1903 prize in physics was shared by all three individuals. Marie Curie was also the first person to be awarded two Nobel Prizes and is one of only two individuals who have been awarded a Nobel Prize in two different fields. What does the symbol H202 stand for? It is hydrogen peroxide, a syrupy liquid compound used as a strong bleaching, oxidizing, and disinfecting agent. It is usually made either in anthrohydroquinone autoxidation processes or electrolytically. The primary use of hydrogen peroxide is in bleaching wood pulp. A more familiar use is as a 3% solution as an antiseptic and germicide. Undiluted, it can cause burns to human skin and mucous membranes is a fire and explosion risk, and can be highly toxic. What is the most popular search engine? As of 2010, the most popular search engine was Google. The following chart shows the market share of the top five search engines. How thick is gold leaf? Gold leaf is pure gold that is hammered or rolled into sheets or leaves so. Extremely thin that it can take 300,000 units to make a stack one inch high. The thickness of a single gold leaf is typically 0.000035 inch, 3.5 millionths of an inch. Although this may vary widely according to which manufacturer makes it. Also called gold foil. It is used for architectural coverings and for hot embossed printing on leather. Which government agencies regulate the storage of nuclear waste? The Department of Energy, DOE. Environmental Protection Agency, 
EPA, and Nuclear Regulatory Commission. NRC, are responsible for the disposal of spent nuclear fuel and other radioactive waste. The DOE has the responsibility for developing permanent disposal. Capacity for spent fuel and other high-level radioactive waste. The EPA has responsibility for developing environmental standards to evaluate the safety of a geologic repository. The NRC has responsibility for developing regulations to implement the EPA safety standards and for licensing the repository. Why don't birds get electrocuted when they sit on wires? In general, birds do not get electrocuted while just sitting on power transmission wires. Most electrocutions happen when a bird opens its wingspan and completes a circuit by bridging the gap between two live wires or a live wire and a grounded wire or other parts such as transformers and grounded metal cross arms what material was used in the u S flag planted on the moon by astronauts Neil Armstrong and Edwin Aldrin Jr. The astronauts erected a 3 by 5 foot, 0.9 by 1.5 meter, nylon U. S flag, its top edge braced by a spring wire to keep it extended. How does the enhanced Fujita scale differ from the original Fujita scale? The National Weather Service adapted the enhanced Fujita F, scale on February 1, 2007 to rate tornadoes. The enhanced scale has six categories, F0 to F5, representing increasing levels of damage. It was revised to better estimate wind speeds by considering different types of construction and low populated areas with few structures. The enhanced scale offers more detailed descriptions of potential damages by using 28 damage indicators based on different building structures and vegetation. How did the electrical unit volt originate? The unit of voltage is the volt, named after Alessandro Volta 1745 to 1827 the Italian scientist who built the first modern battery a battery operating with a lead rod and vinegar was also manufactured in ancient Egypt voltage measures the force or oomph with which electrical charges are pushed through a material some common voltages are 1.5 volts for a flashlight battery, 12 volts for a car battery, 115 volts for ordinary household receptacles, and 230 volts for a heavy-duty household receptacle. What is the density of air?
the density of dry air is 1.29 grams per liter at 32 degrees Fahrenheit 0 degrees Celsius. At average sea level and a barometric pressure of 29.92 inches of mercury, 760 millimeters. Is a day the same on all the planets? No. A day, the period of time it takes for a planet to make one complete turn on its axis, varies from planet to planet. Venus and Uranus display retrograde motion, that is to say, they rotate in the opposite direction from the other planets. How deadly is strychnine? The fatal dose of strychnine or deadly nightshade. The plant from which it is obtained, is 0.0005 to 0.001 ounces, 15 to 30 milligrams. It causes severe convulsions and respiratory failure. If the patient lives for 24 hours, recovery is probable. What was the first virus to be isolated in a laboratory? In 1935, Wendell Stanley, 1904-1971, of the Rockefeller Institute, known today as Rockefeller University, prepared an extract of the tobacco mosaic virus and purified it. What is a patent? A patent grants the property rights of an invention to the inventor. Once a patent is issued, it excludes others from making, using, or selling the invention in the United States. The U.S. Patent and Trademark Office issues three types of patents. Utility patents are granted to anyone who invents or discovers any new and useful process, machine. Manufactured article, compositions of matter, or any new and useful improvement in any of the above. Design patents are granted to anyone who invents a new, original, and ornamental design for an article of manufacture. Plant patents are granted to anyone who has invented or discovered and asexually reproduced any distinct and new variety of plant. Are there any multiple Nobel Prize winners? Four individuals have received multiple Nobel Prizes. They are Marie Curie, 1867 to 1934, physics in 1903, and chemistry in 1911. John Bardeen, 1908 to 1991, physics in 1956 and 1972. Linus Pauling, 1901 to 1994, chemistry in 1954 and peace in 1962, and Frederick Sanger. 1918, chemistry in 1958 and 1980.
What is energy? Physicists define energy as the capacity to do work. Work is defined as the force required to move an object some distance. Examples of the different kinds of energy are heat energy, light energy, mechanical energy, potential energy, and kinetic energy. The law of the conservation of energy states that within an isolated system, Energy may be transformed from one form to another, but it cannot be created nor can it be destroyed. How strong is bone? Bone is one of the strongest materials found in nature. It is a rigid connective tissue that has a matrix of collagen fibers embedded in calcium salts. Most of the skeletal system is composed of bone, which provides support for muscle attachment and protects the internal organs. One cubic inch of bone can withstand loads of at least 19,000 pounds, 8,626 kilograms which is approximately the weight of five standard size pickup trucks. This is roughly four times the strength of concrete. Bone's resistance to load is equal to that of aluminum and light steel. Ounce for ounce, bone is actually stronger than steel and reinforced concrete. Since steel bars of comparable size would weigh four or five times as much as bone. What is unusual about cave moss? Cave moss, Schistostega penata is a small plant with reflective, subspherical cells at its tips. These cells give off an eerie glow that is gold and green in color. In Japan the plant has been the subject of numerous books, television shows, newspaper and magazine articles, and even an opera. There is a national monument to this species near the coast of Hokkaido, where it grows near a small cave. How many bees are in a bee colony? On average, a bee colony contains from 50,000 to 70,000 bees, which produce a harvest of from 60 to 100 pounds, 27 to 45 kilograms, of honey per year. A little more than one third of the honey produced by the bees is retained in the hive to sustain the population. Are viruses living organisms? Viruses cannot grow or replicate on their own and are inert outside their living host cell. Once they enter a host cell they become active. As such, they are between life and non-life and are not considered living. Organisms. The purified virus precipitated in the form of crystals. During this investigation Stanley was able to demonstrate that viruses can be regarded as chemical. 
matter rather than as living organisms. The purified crystals retain the ability to infect healthy tobacco plants. Thus characterizing them as viruses, not merely chemical compounds derived from a virus. Subsequent studies showed that the tobacco mosaic virus consisted of a protein and a nucleic acid. Further studies showed that this virus consisted of RNA, ribonucleic acid, surrounded by a protein coat. Stanley was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1946 for his discovery. What is the difference between weather and climate? Weather is the current condition of the atmosphere. Climate is the long-term average weather for a particular place or region. Often a 30-year average, although also calculated for 10-year averages. Climate describes the average weather pattern of a locale. Climatic elements include precipitation, temperature, humidity, sunshine, wind velocity, and other measures of weather such as fog, frost, and other storms. What is the significance of on the origin of species? Charles Darwin, 1809-1882, first proposed a theory of evolution. Based on natural selection in his treatise on the origin of species. The publication of On the Origin of Species ushered in a new era in our thinking about the nature of man. The intellectual revolution it caused and the impact it had on man's concept of himself and the world were considered by many to be greater than those caused by the works of Isaac Newton, 1642-1727, and other individuals. The effect was immediate the first edition sold out on the day of publication, November 24, 1859. Origin has been referred to as the book that shook the world. Every modern discussion of man's future, the population explosion, the struggle for existence. The purpose of man and the universe, and man's place in nature rests on Darwin. The work was a product of his analyses and interpretations. Of his findings from his voyages on the HMS Beagle. In Darwin's day the prevailing explanation for organic diversity. Was the story of creation in the book of Genesis in the Bible. Origin was the first publication to present scientifically sound well-organized evidence for the theory of evolution. Darwin's theory was based on natural selection in which the best or fittest individuals survive more often than those who are less fit. If there is a difference in the genetic endowment among these individuals that correlates with fitness, the species will change over time and will eventually resemble more closely, as a group, the fittest individuals. It is a two-step process, the first consists of the production of variation, and the second of the sorting of this variability by natural selection in which the favorable variations tend to be preserved.
Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, classify carcinogens? A carcinogen is an agent that can produce cancer. A malignant growth or tumor that spreads throughout the body, destroying tissue. The EPA classifies chemical and physical substances according to their toxicity to humans. Group A human carcinogen This classification indicates that there is sufficient evidence from Epidemiological studies to support a cause-effect relationship between the substance and cancer. Group B Probable Human Carcinogen B1, substances are classified as B1 carcinogens on the basis of sufficient evidence from animal studies, and limited evidence from epidemiological studies. B2 Substances are classified as B2 carcinogens on the basis of sufficient evidence from animal studies. With inadequate or non-existent epidemiological data. Group C possible human carcinogen for this classification. There is limited evidence of carcinogenicity from animal studies and no. Epidemiological data. Group D. Not classifiable as to human carcinogenicity the data from human. Epidemiological and animal studies are inadequate or completely lacking. So no assessment as to the substance's cancer-causing hazard is possible. Group E evidence of non-carcinogenicity for humans. Substances in this category have tested negative in at least two adequate, as defined by the EPA. Animal cancer tests in different species and inadequate 85 epidemiological and animal studies. Classification in Group E is based on available evidence. Substances may prove to be carcinogenic under certain conditions. The National Toxicology Program also has published a report on carcinogens, ROC. It identifies substances that are either known to be human, carcinogen or reasonably anticipated to be human carcinogen. The most recent ROC, the 11th, released in 2005, includes 246 entries. 58 of which are known to be human carcinogen and 188 which are reasonably anticipated to be human carcinogen.